what I need to understand that the very thing that God was saying is I want to root you so you last. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I've had too many family members and friends get me involved with getting rich quick schemes. And, There's some money that's been lost in this room because of things that yeah. look good for the moment. Yeah. Right. Come on. Come on. This is okay. That was, oh, come on. that was triggering. I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> but what God is saying is, He said, I'm establishing you by the root. I'm yeah. bringing you to a place that is going to allow you to be stable yeah. so that you don't have to rely on things that are a gamble. Me, 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 okay. <laughs> can we can we get some definitions in? So root, root, I need to make sure you're clear on what a root is, because a root by Western definition is the part of a plant which attaches itself to the ground or to a support, typically underground, conveying water and nourishment to the rest of the plant by numerous branches and fibers. It's the part of the plant that attaches itself to the ground or to a sport typically under containing water and nourishment to the rest of the plant by numerous branches and fibers. But root also is a verb. It's an action word. It's the basic Amen. cause or the basic source or the basic origin of something. It's, yeah. it's the root being the source. It is the origin or the basic foundation of the thing. First Timothy 6.10 says, for it's the love of money that is the root yeah. of all evil. While some uh, coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. It's the desire and passion of money mm -hmm. that is the source of evil deeds and thoughts. Because passion for money is the same passion for evil. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Wow. And that's it for both. Wow. The passion for money, wow. the, the unwavering zeal to have more, yeah. is the same passion that evil is worked out. Because it remains permanent. I can see it. Okay. Money is a vehicle to exchange for services. Watch yourself. So when my motive is to get my work, then my motivation is going to be a vehicle that is not necessarily in the realm of the spirit. Amen. It will cause me to move more and more carnally, okay. and therefore move more and more to the vein of the kingdom of darkness. Wow. And a lot of prosperity in the kingdom of darkness yeah, yeah. because it aligns with the desire yeah. it aligns yeah. with the desire and the love of money yeah. I'd rather have my gold on my neck than gold in the kingdom of God I'd rather have y'all right so the kingdom of God battles with the kingdom of darkness yeah. in that if I have a passion or a love for money that is the root of all evil I operate in the kingdom of God that is the, the love of God that is the root of all joy so I function in a thing that I pursue something that is natural or carnal versus I pursue something that nobody can take away right. yeah. oh, that's great and, and, and I'm not mad about people that have money. I, I you know, I got a decent little job myself. You know, I mean, I, we do all right. But God showed me. He said that if your your zeal for money is to have money, yeah, yeah, you've got it misplaced. Yeah, yeah. My zeal for money is to build the kingdom. Amen. Y'all ain't ready. Yet. My zeal for money is to make sure that other people have what they need. Yeah. To make sure that everything in my household and my limits is taken care of. I want my grandbabies to be rich. Okay. I don't want them to never have to work. I don't want them to ever have to worry about anything. I want them to be able to be like, Papa, I want this. And it just goes up. I want them to be a source for what they need. And a little bit of what they want. But I learned this in my study. This is uh, for you, Janae. And there's four parts of a plant. Four parts. And this is where I just want to teach today. Come on, preacher. 
there's four parts of a plan. Um, actually, there's like eight parts of a plan, but I'm going to talk about four functions of a plan. I need to speed up. I need to just get out of here. Um, the four functions of the root. Number one is to anchor the plan. Number two is to absorb water and minerals. Number three is to translocate or to move water and minerals to the stem. And the fourth is to store food. Number one, anchor the plant. Number two, absorb water and minerals. Number three, to translocate water and minerals to the stem. And number four, to store food. Let's talk about to anchor the plant. You know what? The, the problem may not be your root. Maybe what you're really in. Yeah. 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 Come yeah. on. Your roots may be strong, but if you're rooted in sand, come on, sink in sand. It will shift too much or be able to be pulled up out too easy. And what that means then is that anything that comes against me will move me. You know when people are rooted in sand because they're emotional. Exactly. Oh, they like yeah. I mean, just anything. They're like, and what does that mean? I mean I'm, well, I just say good morning. That's all I. All I said was, I. But why are we? Why are we in a fight? Because I said, oh, what? Why are we doing this? Because the root is insane. Anything that looks like a breeze blows them out, and it causes them to be moved. And I'm tired of people that say. But they don't understand that they need more than the sand to be rooted in. I, I, I like the fact you got strong roots, but please put your roots in something that's more stable than sand. I applaud you. Yeah, it's sand. It's sand. It's sand. You, you, you've been, you've been strong too long to be rooted in sand. You, you. You've got powerful roots, but you're still in sand. You, yeah. You're always moving there, indecisive. Yeah. You can't focus. Yeah. You don't know what to do. You, 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 you can't be still. You're always on the go. You can't, you can't be, you, you can't rest because all you know is sandy environments. That move according to the tide of the sea. Well, you, 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 you're, you're not prepared for anything that causes you to be planted or to be stable. You, you're accustomed to movement all the time. If, if, if it's not always a fashion show, if it's not always something entertaining you, if it's not something that's always hyping you up, you don't get excited. You, you, because you are used to things that move you. So, so the problem with people that are in sandy environments is they always want you to do. Yes. They won't do. Okay. They want you to elevate them. They want you to cultivate them. They want you to groom them. They want you to excite them. They want them. You. They want you to give them accolades and to celebrate them by like, God. Oh, I need you to get out of the sand and I need you to get planted in something real. You can be planted in clay. But clay Come on, sir. is real it? hard. Clay it? is, is, is real hard. It, it's difficult, Marcia, it's difficult for good roots yes. to penetrate clay. I mean, yeah. it, it's so that means then that my roots have to lay out on the surface. Yeah. Ooh. And I cannot, I cannot Ooh. Ooh. myself in clay, not because I don't want to, yeah. but because of where I am and it doesn't allow me to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's why oftentimes um, the problem with a lot of us, um, we have been in relationships. That is too weak for us. Yeah. Because this 
I, I, I can't penetrate this. I can't. I cannot. I cannot get in, in depth in this. I can't. I can't get. I cannot get past your service because you're too hard for me. You're too. You're too. You're too evil for me. You're too mean for me. You're too callous for me. You're too brittle for me. You're too dry for me. I cannot. I cannot get into this because I need something more than just simply a surface type of relationship. And for those of you that are looking for covenant, I need to tell you that if you cannot into their mind, into their heart. They're made of clay and they'll never be able to find it in there. And that their primary function 
is to stabilize the truth. They, they, they won't be pulled up, but, but they may, the, the tree may not be pulled up because they have deep roots, but the taller and the bigger the tree is. Enough wind will lean. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to make sure you get it. So, so, so the tree has enough sense yeah. to sprout secondary roots that will come out of the side. And lay on top. Oh yeah. God! On top of the soil to start spreading. I'm gonna make sure you get To start spreading itself wider to cause for anything that would come up against it to be braced by secondary roots that cause for it to not just be anchored but it to be stable. Yes. Come on now. Oh wait, hold it. It's not good enough for me just to have depth. I need to have breath too. I need not to not just be smart, I need to be wise too. I, I don't need to just be prophetic, I need to be humble too. I, I, I don't need, I don't need just to be just to be a, a, an authority. I need to be able to be submissive too. I, I need to be able to have not only my tongue, but I need to have breath too. I need to have integrity and character. I need God in here. I need to be able to operate on the authority. I need to have roots that go down into the ground, but I need to have some roots that will stay on the surface. There's, there's some roots that that whether you know or not, some people should be able to see a little bit of your roots. Yeah. 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 Not all your roots. Yeah. But just get a little sign that, yeah. that I, I, I've got some anger here. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some stability here. Yeah. I've got some some ability. That, that was number one. That was, that was number one to 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 be anchored. Number two, I uh, was to be able to absorb the minerals and the water. Mm -hmm. um, I learned that the roots. Is, and I, I did the study over the last couple of weeks. I was learning more and more about roots and how they function. And um, roots, they will take in from their environment. They they're almost like a mini vacuum. They, they begin to, to suck in from the nutrients of the soil and the moisture is in the soil. Um, so the key to the root is to locate the water and the nutrients. Yes, it's, the, the, the roots are probes. They, they seek. Where the water is, they, 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 start, they start navigating in the soil. They ignore rocks. Yeah. Hey, hallelujah. They, they ignore underground vermin and insects. They, but the roots start looking, looking for, for water and, and, and minerals. And, 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 and as they, they, they locate, even though they're in the soil, they locate. Um, they, there's a system within the root that is like a filter. Yeah. Wow. And I, I don't want to get too technical today. Um, but, but what I learned about these, these roots is that there's some things that are too big to penetrate. Yeah. The, the, the epidermis, if you will, of the roots. So, so there's some things that automatically the root says, no, you can't come in. Amen. Can I put a peg here just for a moment? Because something's wrong with a lot of y'all's roots. Because you opened up to a lot of people and things that should not be able to come in anyway. You, you should have you been able to filter that out. That, that, that should have been able to come in your company. You, you should have been able to just, just eliminate that. You should have been able to open that in that, that, that text should have been made to your company. You, you open up your, there's something wrong with the root because, because the root has two bigger pores. And then they, they, two, some things enter in that were not needing, that were never supposed to enter into your root. So, so now that's why you become toxic. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because now all of a sudden you allow stuff to come yeah. into your roots that now are penetrating and causing your fruit to be looking a little nasty. nasty. Uh, a little distorted. You, you, I, I see something wrong with the fruit. I didn't realize that you had a root problem. Ooh, sir. Yeah. If I had known that there was a root problem, we would have done something with your root. But now that we understand that there's a problem with the fruit, 
We've got to go dig down into the root. And now we see that the roots are open to stuff that they should have never heard. Creating out things that shouldn't be absorbed. Um, can I say this? I, I'm, I'm really, I feel like I'm getting in trouble, but uh, you don't have to accept every prophetic word that people give you. Your roots should be unfiltered. Your roots should be like, mm, no, that doesn't look like water. I look like this thing. That, that ain't iron, that ain't that ain't phosphorus, I don't know, whatever. The calcium, I, that, that ain't none of that ain't none of the stuff that I need in the season. I'm so sorry. Uh, you must have talked about my sister because that ain't me, God. I don't know. I don't know. But look like that, that ain't for me. As a matter of fact, I'll report it and send it out line. Because what is not for me, I cannot absorb in this. I'm so sorry. My roots are my feelings. So I cannot accept this in this season. No, I'm not depressed. That was last season. No, I'm not mad. That was last season.
you will find water. I could be in the Sahara Desert. I will oh, find Y'all ain't ready for me. I will find the water here. I will be fed it here. If I'm here for a season, for a lifetime, I will find the water here. I will, if God is planting me here, there's water somewhere. He would not put me here if there was no water. So I'm going to let my roots that are mature. I'm going to let my roots that he planted me in. I'm going to let my roots to start seeking out what needs to come. You get transplanted. You get transplanted the garden because it belonged to him. It was his. But because also the roots have been established. Uh, that's why if we understand the principle of the garden, we will understand that the garden could be taken up into the second heaven. This is too much for you be taken to the second heaven until the day that the new Jerusalem will sit, or it could stay right where it That's is so good. and be sustained. That's so good. And I'm learning more and more that Mother God raises me up and puts me in a holding habit. Well, yes. Jesus! Elevates me and calls me to be in stasis. <laughs> Wait. Causes for me, in spite of everybody looking for me, that they don't know where I am because God is holding me. Uh, until the next manifestation of his glory. I, 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 don't know, I don't know how long he wants me to stay there, but God may hold you in space. Have you ever been just picked up and God just held you in the middle of an He just held you. I, I know that it looks like it's been forever, but God said, I'm holding you. Wait till the next scene comes. Because everybody's been reading about this next scene. Everybody knows the new Jerusalem is on its way. Do you know that God is getting ready to reveal
roots are intact. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Right yeah. Yeah. Because water is in the soil. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to find it. Yeah. Today, my son is not to tell you how to find it. Yeah. It's to remind you that you got roots. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your weeds may be getting a little bit ashy. Yeah. So your roots to find the water. Yeah. That's good. It's not your weeds' fault. <laughs> don't, don't, don't get mad at your back at him. Don't get mad at your mindset or your dreams. Tell your roots to activate. Water can go from my roots into my eyes. I can see differently yes. when my roots are doing work. I can see your actions differently. Yes. 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 When my roots are in the work. If I force my eyes to function alone, then I may see you in a dry place. But my roots need to do the work. Roots say this. They know that the water is not for them. Mm-hmm. Roots know oh, that they're only a sign. Is to move water oh, out of the yeah. Yeah. out of the ground yeah. to the other parts of the tree or plant. Let me make sure you get this. Yeah. Water can be all around the root. A failed root will ignore water. Yes. Yes. Wow. A flawed root will ignore water in its environment. But a wise root <laughs> will suck every nutrient out. And start flooding it into the other parts of the tree. I'm learning that what a root does, we fail to do in the kingdom. We suck things in, but we keep them right there. I wish I was talking. Yeah, come on, come on. We gain and we keep. God is saying, I need the root of you. To start feeding the rest of the body. I need you to pull out of the ground. The things that are needful to call for them to be the manifestation of God. Can I have three more minutes? Y'all sure? Yes, Lord. In Colossians 2, it talks about, I read the entire chapter just for this. In verse 7, it says that rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught. He said that you can be beguiled or deceived by enticing words. That is the thought that even things that sound good yeah. may have no good intent. Yeah. yeah. You can't listen always to people's words. Right, right. Yeah. You got to listen a little bit deeper. Yeah. Most people won't tell you their intent. You got to listen yeah. a little deeper. If, 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 you, if you listen to the words, you'll believe the lie. Well, yes, yes, yes. yes. You'll believe the trick of the enemy. You'll start navigating in that carnal mindset that will cause you to no longer be stable in your system. But let me give you this number four. Remember we talked about the three other elements of the of the, of the root. Yes. Number four was to store food. Yeah. Can I finish with this? Yes. This is the part that I like uh, because sometimes I get anxious. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. For my blessing. Yeah. For the things that God has for me. I get anxious for it. But my roots hold on to my blessing for me. That's good. That's good. So that I can get everything that is mine all at once. And they caused me to hold, cause for the food to be hold up in reserve. Wait a minute. Yes. Uh, I'm not smart enough to not eat it all, but my roots hey. are But my roots, that I thank my roots for holding on to my blessing for later. It's mine already, but I cannot handle it yet. Uh, it would be damaging to me now. If I had it, I would, it would kill me, but I thank my roots for putting this on hold. Uh, listen, I've learned some things about roots that sometimes the food that is stored is not for me to starve, but it's for me to be in reserve for later. Later! This is a problem that a lot of us will have. We will try to guard ourselves now from the root, but God said, I need you to put some of that on reserve. Yeah. Because my roots are going to hold on to my food for the thing, for the season that I'm in and all. It's on the horizon. Yeah. You didn't know that that murder was going to take place. You need food for later. You didn't know that that was going to die, but you needed that food from later. You didn't know that that inflation was going to end. You needed that food from later. Yes. Yes. That's the Thank you, God. We need it all. God told me that not every day will be a good day. You need a word of reserve. Right. That's right. That's right. That I already received. There's going to be seasons that you will not have the ability to study. Yeah. 